Dr. Dahlia Wax. And you are listening to the Dr. Dahlia Show. Sassy, sexy, stimulating medical talk radio. Yes, we aim to stimulate. Some days we educate. Some days we aggravate. On some days we menstruate. But today, all right, all right, I'll behave myself. All right, all right. Today, we aim to stimulate. Thank you guys for listening. We are taking your calls at 1 877 Doc Dolly, D O C D A L I, or 702 257 5396. Thank you all for listening in today. You know, one thing I want to talk about first and foremost is this bullying epidemic that we have in this country. And I know we've always been bullied, but the fact that kids are being driven to suicide is sick. And, and it's, it's just horrible and horrifying, especially for us parents and grandparents out there that have children. Children in school. So I kind of want to talk about that today. I also want to talk about the FAA ruling on depressed pilots now being able to fly on medications. Uh, we want to talk about the medications, talk about the side effects, talk about if, you know, maybe alcohol is cheaper and Obamacare is going to force the pilots to just drink instead. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're also going to talk about STDs on the rise in kids from the age of 10 and up. If your 10 year old's having sex, both you and the kid need to smack upside their head. So we're going to be talking about all that. Another thing I want to talk about is apparently there are terrorist plots to have explosives and breast implants. Yes, some women are walking around with breast implants laden with explosives. Pretty scary stuff. This is what we're going to talk about today on the Dr. Dolly Show. Sassy, sexy, stimulating medical talk radio. So, you know, first, w- with the bullying, um, you know, Phoebe Prince, the foreign exchange student, um, you know, that uh, killed herself because she was bullied to death between emails and texts and kids shouting at her on her way home from school to commit suicide. She ends up doing it. You know, but another story that was in the news this week was um, that there was a second grader that attempted suicide at school as well because he was being bullied. This happened in Houston, Texas. A little eight-year-old, a little eight-year-old child was being made fun of because he was dyslexic. Kids were calling him dumb. And somebody pulled down his pants in the middle of class and embarrassed him. How horrifying. So he tried to jump out of the second story window of the school and try to commit suicide. And you know what the school did? 20 minutes later after the incident, they had him sign a no suicide contract agreement. The schools don't know what to do. I don't think parents know what to do. These kids don't know what to do. You know, there is something really, really wrong with this country if kids are being bullied to death. And I know what it is. I know what it is. We aren't fighting back. We aren't teaching our kids how to fight back, are we? No, we're going, no, no, you got to go to the teacher. Well, yes, you do have to go to the teacher. You don't have to tell somebody. But, you know, that's not going to stop it. We need to teach our kids how to drop kick these little critters. I mean, when I was in school, when these girls would, would just start going after each other in the middle of gym in the locker room, what would you do? You would take a grip of their hair, pull it as hard as you can, rip off part of the scalp, and leave them with a bald spot. How many more times do you think that girl is going to go after your daughter if she took off a, a patch of hair, huh? These kids need to fight back. I mean, I'm my lord. I mean, we're having eight year olds now try to commit suicide. Now, yeah, let, let me tell you how I handled some bullying in school. Now, when I was younger, um, my nickname was Dolly. I didn't go by Dolly. Uh, it was Dolly. And let's just say I was a little bit more endowed than the average pubescent child, right? And and you know, my boobies were a little bigger, so you know, I was being called Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton with the big boobs, Dolly Parton with the big boobs. Well, you know, I got so tired of it that finally when somebody said, gosh, Dolly, you got such big boobs, you know, I'm like, yeah, but um, your daddy sure seems to like them. So you see, you start to go after the kid's parents. It works. It horrifies them. By the end of the fourth grade, half the school thought I had slept with their father. You know how horrifying that is? They left me alone. They just left me alone. And, you know, if you can't conquer bullying in kindergarten, you're going to get bullied in the fourth grade. You're going to get bullied in middle school. You're going to get bullied in high school. You'll get bullied in college. You'll even get bullied in medical school. I got bullied in medical school. Now, with medical school, though, I I have to admit it was my fault. Okay, Uh, don't tell anybody this because I I don't want my dean getting mad. but, But I invented a game in medical school called the flip off game. Where what you do is, you know, you flip people off in the middle of the class, but but they have to be 
kids that aren't really paying attention. You, you know how you're sitting there as a student and you're just kind of looking around the room? Well, you look around the room and all of a sudden there's somebody there flipping you off. Boom. They're out of the game and you get a point. The only problem is, is if you flip off somebody innocent in the crossfire, then you lose. And it could be a very dangerous game because one time I was trying to flip somebody off who was sitting two rows behind me in my medical school class. And one of the visiting professors decided to sit in the row behind me. So he totally got caught in the crossfire. I ended up flipping off a visiting professor, got in trouble for that one. You know, so there was a flip off game. Well, here I was. This is a very scary story. I was in the middle of my anatomy final. All right. This is when we were in the cadaver lab. And during your anatomy final, you couldn't talk. You couldn't giggle. You couldn't cough. You couldn't toot. You couldn't make a sound. So the professor comes up to me at my cadaver table to ask me a question. Well, his back is to five students just standing there along in a line. And when I look up to talk to my professor to give him my answer on whatever the heck I was dissecting, all five of these students were flipping me off both handed, totally knocked me out. But even worse is one of them had their cadaver's hand in their hand in the flip off sign as well. My God, if you have a dead person flipping you off in this game, that's triple bonus for your opponent. Triple bonus. So I totally get leveled out in this game. Almost fail my final because, I, I mean, I cried in, in a screech and shriek from this. And I I, I mean, I, I could have gotten kicked out of medical school. I mean, that was bullying at its gruelest. So, yes, we all get bullied and we need to do something about it. Right? I want to I want to take your calls here at one eight seven seven doc dolly